you know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. your shape figure eight where you too much you look sumptuous take away very perichous honestly oh no <laughs> yes how many times do i need to tell you this i don't understand tell you what this is the third time you are visiting my house unannounced oh that oh my bad i forgot eh? Hey, don't worry. Are you not my babe? Come on. What if my boyfriend is still around? Ah, come on, Ivy. That is not possible. It's impossible. I know that he will not be around. How did you know? Oh, you don't seem to trust me again. My Yukomita eh, is zeroed on you, heavily focused. So everything about you, <laughs> it captures it. <laughs> eh? So why are you here? Ah, come on, you can see now it's like you are taller than me. Calm down, calm down, let's talk. Hmm? Look, um, I have reserved five cool days for us to go to Port Harcourt and enjoy ourselves. Five cool days. <laughs> eh, vacation. Mm, eh. Sounds nice. I know you would like it. As mm. a matter of fact, I know you would love it. <laughs> Who not like with that? Thing? Oh, <laughs> you see, when you smile, give me the smile, give me the smile. You don't know, always miss your smile. When you smile like this, eh, you take me to cloud seven. <laughs> so, this weekend, right, uh, we are going to leave. So, be prepared. Pack your things, okay? Eh? <laughs> it's going to cost you two million, oh no. Eh? Yeah. Two guinea. Mm. Have you? Why now? Why are you like this? Hmm. Hmm? I mean, you want to have me for five solid days? Come on! It's going to cost you a fortune, don't you agree? Look, it's not as if I'm having you. We are having ourselves. <laughs> eh? We enjoy ourselves. I'll spend the money, so why are you like this now? It's alright. You know what I'll do? I'll give you half a million. That should do, okay? <laughs> yes? That will translate to... 100k per day? Oh my god. No, it's not going to work. <sighs> it's not going to work. Ivy, you suddenly turned yourself to a mathematician just because of a vacation. Why would you want to divide the money by the number of days? Hmm? <sighs> oh, let's not just waste our time. Hmm? If you have the money, transfer it into my account. Hmm? Then you can have me all to yourself or nothing. <sighs> Ivy, don't make things difficult for me. You know I love you. Eh? It's not just about money. What is it now? Eh? Please. I am Obue Finn Zakonobi, the ship priest of Akama. I know you, and I know I have no business with you. So what are you doing in my company? You must not guide anyone on how to free her. Why? She belongs to me. You forced that young woman into your hands. And that is none of your business, Obue Finn. Stay away from this. 
for you to finally develop the boldness to come into my compound to warn me simply means your cover is blown. I am going to trigger a separation between you and that innocent woman. And I want you to stop me if you feel you can. I have removed my cap for you. That simply means your cover is blown. On a care market day, you will remain restless. On all your market day, you will know no peace. On a for market day, the air will reject you. And on a poor market day, even the ground will reject you. All the remaining days of your life, <laughs> you will know no peace. As long as you continue to hold on to that innocent girl. Good evening, welcome. Um, I was hoping to see you yesterday when you came back. Uh, oh. Yes, I came back and was overwhelmed with work. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry about that. How did it go? Uh, oh, both requested to see you. When? On any market day of your choice. I suggest you should, you should go on this uh, Saturday because it's a market day. That means I should start preparing. Exactly, immediately. No, there's no, we don't have time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, please, Izu. No one should hear about this until it's over. Exactly what I want to tell you. And I said, so just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Sure, you keep it for me. Exactly. I will. I will. Why not? But start preparing on Saturday so I can be. No, we don't have time. I Let will. me go back to my little post. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Come in. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Please sit. Thank you. Um, so what do I offer you? Water will do. Water? Just water. Mm. Don't worry. It's soft. Okay. I just asked for water. Yes. But I decided that we need something better than water. Very well then. Thanks all the same for the wine. You requested to see me. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. I just want to know, what exactly do you want from me? <laughs> Who? What I want from you? I want to make you my wife, the mother of my children. Why me? I don't understand. Why me of all women in Akama? Let's say you possess what I want in a woman. 
Oh yes. <laughs> really? Yes, really. <laughs> okay. Maybe you should start listing those qualities I possess. <laughs> I'd like to hear them. This one you want to talk to me today, I hope I'm safe. Why are you sounding like that now? Eh? That is because you have been avoiding all of us. See, it's not like that. It's just that there is something I'm working on and that thing seems to have matured. What could that be? The king is into me. Are you sleeping with the king? Yes, but keep this between us, okay? Sure. I will not tell anyone. Since the queen has refused to bear children for the king, I've made myself available. And if it works, I mean, if the king finally gets me pregnant, Queen Asana will be relegated and I, I will step in as queen of Akama. You sound as if you had all this planned out already. Mm, exactly. And if I finally become the queen of this great kingdom, you will be promoted as the chief maiden of this beautiful palace. How about that? Wow, that sounds great. Mm. And please, no one should hear about this, okay? My future wedding. Chief. <laughs> Look at her. She wants to be the queen. I don't blame her. Sorry for the way I treated you. I bear no grudges. You're only being a woman. So I understand. Thank you for understanding. You're welcome. Nothing. You know that's not true. Something must have been the reason you staring at me like that. <laughs> You're actually right. So what is it? I am not telling you. I beg of you to tell me. It's actually nothing, just that I am surprised and, you know, I, I feel so relaxed and very comfortable with you. <laughs> Come on, he almost pulled me off my feet. I thought you wanted to say something, something, something. Anyways, I am pleased with those words of yours. I'm happy with that. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Okay, so, shall we drink to that? Of course. All right, so, can you do me the honors? With your pleasure. So, we... We're going to be toasting full. What? 
Let's just think so. Whoops! <laughs> right? Oh so, have it. That shows is a successful job. Don't you think? Let's toast to a wonderful relationship ahead. No matter what in he job, he takes our chicks, he no go rest. No matter what thing you give or no, whoa. Without the side chicks, you know the rest. Chai, or the very smart, yo. Money, the one child, so we go. I put on what if I now watch again. If I now watch again, I saw you, sir. What is it, Ozema? Akudu is planning something devious. What is she planning? She's. Planning on getting pregnant for you since Queen Asana is yet to give you a child. She will not step in as the real queen. Why Queen Asana is relegated to the background? She said that to you. I hate her saying it. <sighs> Thanks for the information. You're welcome, Your Majesty. You may leave. I know it. I saw it coming. Huh. Women are indeed predictable. Good afternoon, Papa. Say whatever you want to say and leave. I don't have time. Okudili and his people want to come and see you. To do what? He wants to come and make known his intentions about me. Tell them not to come. But why, Papa? Because that young man wants to exploit you and walk away. Papa, you're judging him wrongly. Okudili is not that kind of person. I've known him for quite a while. He's not like that, Papa. This discussion is over. Tell him that I don't want him as a son-in-law. Why exactly, Papa? Why? Why do you not want him to be your son-in-law? I've answered your question already. From all indications, you clearly want it the hard way, and I'll give it to you like that, Papa. What did you just say? You heard me right. I am going to get pregnant for him, and you'll be forced to give him your consent. You dare not. You'll see, Papa. You dare not! Idiot! Try it! I told your local government headquarters is still follow! Oh, okay. Now you dare eat. Go and get pregnant. Then you will see what I'm made of. Hey, this girl is spoiled. Hey, it's all right. We shall see. Don't move an inch further. Any problem, Your Majesty? You. You are the problem. What is my offense? How dare you? How dare you? Despite all my good intentions towards you. I don't understand. 
you wanted me to get you pregnant. You want the king of this kingdom to get you pregnant so that you can destroy in my name and take over. Says who? Swear! Swear by the offer that I represent that you never had such an evil plan against your king. Upon all my good plans for you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm, I'm sorry. Leave my presence now. Your Majesty, please forgive me. Your sight irritates me. But, but, Get out of my sight. So forgive me. Out! Get out your sight irritates me now. He triggered his own destruction by coming into my compound to show his face. What? He was here? He came in here to warn me. And he ended himself by so doing. I want you to take this water, wash your face and your ears, and then you give him to do the same. By this very simple ritual of cleansing, you will no longer see his face and you will no longer hear his voice. It is done. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, boyfriend, you told me we need a DBA to do this. How come you are the one doing it? He finally exposed himself in my compound and I came to realize he is just a small demon that even the basic masculine of Akama can handle. Hey, let me see that bead. You have found your waist. Oh, boy, you, you won't see anything. You won't see. There's, there's nothing in my waist. There is a bead. Look at the bead. Ah. Hey, it's true. This is my special gift to both of you. And I want you to wear this always. He will no longer be able to do anything to you. And if he tries to rise against you in any way, the masters of Akama will deal with him massively. Uh, and you are going to live to fulfill your days in life. You believe that? Thank you. Thank you, my baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Gordon. Okay, thank you. My baby, you are the most sweetest thing I've ever tasted. Oh the same thing you tell other girls. No. I only tell them they are sweet. 
but you are unarguably the sweetest. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, baby, when am I going to see you again? <sighs> we agreed upon something. Sure. Until that is fulfilled, we may never see you again. Mm. Who is at the door? Come in, the door is open. This pregnancy is getting three minutes. What are your plans about it? I thought we've already gone past this. Why bring it up again? I told you to abort it. I am not going to abort this child. I am keeping this child and you are taking full responsibility for it. I am a married man and I am not ready to have a second wife. Oh really? Well, I am not asking you to marry me. Just make me comfortable during and after the pregnancy, that's all. I will not do that! Just abort this pregnancy and stop this nonsense! Oh really? You heard me. <laughs> no problem then. She's pregnant for you. Just, 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 just go. Leave me. Just, just go. Anyway, you're right. See you next time. Right upside cheeks, you. It upset you whether you like them or not. You must bear. Right upside cheeks, you. What is it? What is it? Isu. Why do you stop? I can feel his presence within. Yes. I am here and I'm going to kill the both of you. I can feel his presence as well. That means he's within and he's watching. Exactly. What do we do? You know what? You don't have business with him. You Best lie! She belongs to me! What has this man done? What did he do to me? Are you sure Uchiha Akidi is the one responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, my queen. And he's refusing to take responsibility for his actions? Yes, my queen. What exactly do you want him to do? My queen, I am not asking him to marry me. I only ask for him to take care of me while I carry the baby, till I put to bed. Which is the normal thing to do. Yes, but he has refused to do it and that's why I'm reporting this matter to you. These men, they are all so irresponsible. Why are they bent on destroying this kingdom? It's because they have no conscience. Please, assist me to deal with them. I am assisting already. But just like I said to one of you earlier, I do not in any way support or encourage your loose lifestyle. The route I have taken is my technical way of clamping down on these loose men that parade themselves as saints. Hmm? You are welcome once again, hard-working Queen Asana of Akama Kingdom. Thank you. 
Owefi Nzakonobi. I am here to discuss something very important with you. Something that is going wrongly. Something that if it's not stopped now, we're bound to get ruined somewhere down the line. I must have to say that your words are very heavy. May I know what the problem is? Owefi, some maidens of our land are suffering and are seriously aggrieved. This is because grave injustice is being meted on them by elders of our land who cannot keep their libidos in check. They get these maidens pregnant and force them into having abortions. The maidens in question are young enough to be their daughters. Obwefi, if the dog now eats the bone hung round its neck, are we not ruined as a people? I understand what the problem is. I understand exactly where you are coming from, but I want to find out. How do you want me to get involved? Obwefi, I know you as the leader of the masquerade cult of Akama land. And you are revered as the man, the only man who can call other men to order. I have investigated you. And you have come out as upright as everyone testifies. I am therefore convinced you are not part of the men involved in this abominable act. It is therefore safe to say that only you can stop this. You know, I must have to say that I am very happy. Very happy in the sense that someone as elevated as the Queen of Akama is the one who has taken it upon herself to tackle this problem. I am giving you my word. I am going to call the man to order. Yes, I am going to use my position to find a way to flog them back into line. Thank you for giving me listening ear. I did not want to embark on this and ruin marriages in the process. And so far, I am succeeding without doing so. I need you now to help tame the waywardness of the men. For it is service to our land. Thank you. What does the Queen stand to gain in all this? No, no, what is the topic of today's uh, uh, meeting? Why is he so stingy that he cannot pay for services that are graciously rendered to him? Is that not wickedness? Ija Ika, will you keep quiet? What kind of rubbish are you talking about? Huh? Look, the issue on the front burner right now is not about to know. The Queen has taken our matter to Ogwefi Uzakonobi. That is what is happening. And now he has briefed the king about his intention to hold a meeting with the Igwe Council before the offer of Akama. And now you are opening your mouth to talk nonsense. What has it to do with oh, oh no? Idiot! Mu, idiot! Yes, you are idiot! You are stingy! It's okay, it's okay. Uh, your Majesty, you have to speak to the Queen. Let her find a way to retrieve that matter from the Obuefi. Why will I do that? Obuefi Nze Akonobi has indicated his interest to have a meeting with the cabinet members before the offer of Akama. Automatically, the queen is out of this. But she started it. Obuefi Nze Akonobi is deeply wired into the ancients. He sees little things. Things as basic as telling little lies to keep body and soul together as taboo. He will involve the ones of deadly and better forgotten masquerades of Akama. My king, if that man comes here, 
He will twist everything and label what we are doing as abomination. And you know what that means, my king? Of course. Igwe is aware of what you are saying. Obwe fi Zakonobi will insist on cleansing. From cleansing to us faking before Ajay. For us to stop all these things. Igwe. Use your capacity as Igwe to stop that man from coming. How am I going to do that? Use your power, your majesty, to stop the meeting. Yes. Obwe Fe cannot force the meeting to hold. Oh. I have always avoided that man. The last time I met this man was three years ago when he came to inform me of a matter that I thought I was the only one on the know. I was shocked to my bone. You see what I mean? Yes. You see what I mean? That man is not living in this age. So let us find a way of keeping him on his lane. Way Finn Zakonobi is the priest of our journey. Akama, we cannot stop him from doing whatever he wants to do. Especially when the ancestors are involved. We can't stop him. <sighs> um, Igwe, Igwe. Um, if this meeting must hold, then I ask for permission to go to my maternal side. You know, I told you some time ago that I fell from pantry and broke my waist. The people of Oboji, my Matana people, are very good on bone setting. They have been calling me. So let me use this opportunity for you them. You lie. On the contrary, you lie. If Queen Asana has promised to do something, then she's going to go all out. The lady is a nice person, and I pray God keep her for a very long time. He say. Honestly, I can't wait to hear the good news that the men of this kingdom will no longer be able to deceive our maidens and that our maidens will be able to do something when this happens. So what exactly did you ask the man to do for you? Well, me, I wanted to keep the pregnancy and let him take full responsibility of the pregnancy. But the queen... The queen is insisting that he takes care of the child even when he or she is born and until the child is established in life. Hmm. That is a serious issue. Yes. You see, if the queen succeeds in this, then this would be the beginning of new era in Akama. The era of child support. Yeah, you're right, my friend. And that was exactly what the queen said. I mean, a man who is careless enough to get a woman pregnant, he should be careful enough to take care of both the mother and the child. Of course, indeed, this is a good time to be a woman of Akama. Why would you take such steps without informing me first? I have not done anything wrong, my king. On the contrary, everything is wrong. By reporting the members of my cabinet to Wayfin Zakonobi is a slap on my face. Automatically, it means the matter is too big for your king to handle. I'm sorry you feel that way, my king. I but, didn't mean to offend you. But that is what it is. Reporting me to the priest automatically means I cannot handle the matter. That is what it means. My king, with due respect, I wish to say that I got bored playing politically by the rules. And so I decided to take the bulls by the horns. So, what are you trying to imply by talking about politics? If you're are you in any way saying that I am a politician? If you are not a political king, why then are you avoiding the priest of our journey? The answer is simple. It is because the sacredness that comes with the priest repels you politicians and that is why you cannot appear before him as I have. Many things are going wrong in our land. There is a mystery that I need to resolve and it's only he that can help. But this is a matter that I'm already handling. Why take this matter to the priest? Your Highness, there has been a mystery that I have been struggling to unmask 
and Obwefi Nzakonobi is the man to resolve the mystery. That is why I went to him. You know what, Asana? I would rather advise you to withdraw that case from the priests of Ajani. That will be impossible to do. Because as I speak to you, the priest has gotten involved. Involved in what? What matter are you talking about? Dogs are now eating the bones hang around their neck. The priest is in the know now and he is going to solve it. I cannot stop him. How come men in council are not interested in the issue? No, we are out of it. No, fine. You all look tensed up. May I know what the problem is? <clears throat> um, Ogwefe and Zakonov. You are the most powerful and dreaded priest of our land. Like a scorpion, smooth on the surface, but poisonous at the tail. It is you we greet. Um, Ogwefe, I will be the last idiot to behave like an ostrich that keeps burying its head in a hot soil and keep claiming that all is well. We are not happy. Why? I want to know, why will a priest of Ajahn listen to a woman when the men are very active in their homes? The woman is the brother of the man, remember? No, are you now telling me that the man is more powerful than his mother? Oh, with you. To tell you the truth, we don't know where this is coming from. Oh no, you know where this is coming from. I already fixed a meeting. A meeting that I want to hold before the offer of Akama. And the date for this meeting has been communicated to all of us. Why are we not waiting for that meeting? Um, we are aware that um, you are going to condemn us before the offer of Akama. We know the implication. And that is why we summon the courage to come here to see you. So that we can plead with you. Please, try and... Uh, Make things easy for us. Give us a soft landing, Pico. Oh no, there is something I need you men in council to understand. Abortion is the same thing as murder. For there is nobody anywhere who can say that he is aware of the very time a king is conceived. How can a man of Akama impregnate a woman of Akama in Akama and is ordering that woman of Akama to abort the pregnancy. How can that be said? I am the one who has committed this grave sin. Thank the girls she has not aborted it. I am ready to take care of the girl and if she wants me to marry her as a second wife, I will do so. Because I do not want the wrath of Ajani of Akama to fall on me. Me too. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think it's okay. You know, I have allowed all these things to go on all this time, all this while, because I kept believing that men are men enough to know the things that are right and the things that are wrong. Things continue to get from bad to worse, to the extent that men in council will now come before the sheep priest of Akama and they are scared of the Nzu. Men are keeping what they call side six extra women and they are not seeing anything wrong in that i want order to stop 
Because if that fails to stop, I will have no other option than to involve the offer of Akama in a final solution to this problem. But not yet. Queen of Akama, no. you put smile on the faces of ladies. You were free to oh. fight. By angel. Welcome, Papa. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. You are looking moody. Any problem? I'm okay, Papa. Alright. So, where is your mother? She went for Umuada meeting. Hmm. I wonder what they discussed in this uh, Umuada meeting. Because, um, Obuefi Nzakunobi has already resolved the problem. He has? Mm -hmm. How did he resolve it, please? Beatrice. Yes, Father. Tell Luku Diri to come with his people to commence the process of uh, your marriage to him. Father! Did I hear you well? Of course you did. Please come again. I, I think I'm hallucinating. I have approved your marriage. To Okudere. Father! You are not pranking me, are you? <laughs> Wait, Father! Okudere can come and see you with his people. No! We have heard the warning from the chief priest, and he did not bar the men from having a extramarital affair. He warned them to be committed with the women in their lives, or remain with their wives. Hmm. This thing is sure not as simple as you think. And the one who listened to the chief priest, and his warning is complex and complicated. Complex and complicated. Sure. I don't know what you mean by complex and complicated. What I heard is that the queen took the matter to the chief priest and he warned that the men should start taking care of their side chicks. That is misinformation. The priest never said that. He actually called this side chick and frowned at that word, then warned that men must stop. But chief, does he have the power? I mean, what is his business? in the private life of the people. Obuefi is the chief priest of Akama. His power transcends even checkmating morality. Now he warned that everything concerning side chick must stop. What if the man refuse? He will involve the offer. And trust me, nobody wants to face that offer. So what are we going to do now? I'll get married to you. Then you become my second wife. When that is done, I'll continue taking care of you, knowing full well and taking care of my wife. Uh, Chief, what if I refuse? Then we have to discontinue whatever it is we are doing. Obuefi is bringing sanity into the land and I don't want to be a scapegoat. Because of a key belt, because of a conacog, you promise a bomb waggy, what you cannot do. You just see on your little web, you go, Okapa, is he getting away? Melody. Honestly, I know you are angry. 
that is why I invited you here so we can talk this over once and for all. But how do you intend to do that? I mean, you got me pregnant and very soon everyone is going to notice that I am pregnant. The chief priest of the land is already involved in this issue. He is most likely going to involve the power of the offer. And I do not want you to get to that level. Honestly, Chief, I don't get this. Is this why you invited me over? What exactly is my business with the offer or whatever? Okay, this is it. You are no longer going to abort this pregnancy. Also, you will not raise this child as a single mother. How exactly do you mean? The chief priest of the land has opened a new page in Akam. What we call side chicks is now at Lord. I am going to marry you and you are going to give birth to this child as a married woman. But chief, am I ready to get married to a man who has a wife already? Any woman who is ready to get involved with a married man She'll also be ready to get married to the man. Just say yes. And you're married. We no fucker man. You put smile on the faces of ladies. You were free no fighters. Of course. We no more freedom fighters. Greetings. You are no, correct. Greetings, greetings, you are greetings. Hug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good to see you. Good to see you. Listen. <laughs> Thank you. Woo. Oh, this is nice. Mm. Something smells so good. What is that? <sighs> it's smelling couple, couple. <laughs> couple. <laughs> couple. Why are you like this? Beautiful couple. Why are you like this? Like what? My God. <laughs> Prove me wrong if that's not the case. <laughs> of course you're right, Your Majesty. I said it. <laughs> Your Majesty, you've just spoken the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Your Majesty, here is a card. Oh my God. Our world not been fixed. I knew it! <laughs> this is so beautiful! Congratulations! Thank you. Thank Congratulations! You. Thank you. Oh, this gladdens my heart greatly. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you know you single-handedly made this possible. That's correct. And I will forever be grateful to you. Please, don't even mention it. As you know, putting smiles on the faces of the people has come to be what I consider as my ministry. So I'm delighted to have been the vessel that manifested this because this is awesome. I'm happy for you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. And guess what? I have graced this event already. With the king. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you so thank much. You. Don't thank even you. mention it. I thank keep you. saying it. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Nduka. <laughs> if you ask me, I don't see the king's fault in this. He has already settled you with a huge amount of money. Use that money to establish a business for yourself or something. Your own man will come. Honestly, I, I feel used. Ivy, I feel used. How do you mean? This is not what I bargained for. This is not what I bargained. I was, I was hoping the king could get me pregnant. And then I'll bear him a son. And then I'll step in as the queen. What? What did you just say? 
Indeed, you sound very wicked to me. I think you deserve exactly what you got. You know what? Lick your wounds without involving anyone. Just look at her. You want to really get the queen. Are you confirming to me that you're finally pregnant? <laughs> Your Highness, there you have it. Medical science has given us confirmation and it's right there in your palm. <sighs> I am pregnant. God decided to show up in his own time. I'm six weeks gone. <laughs> Thank you so much for what you have done for the women of this kingdom. Maybe this is the reason why God decided to remember you finally. I know, right? <laughs> this child will comfort not only as a blessing to this kingdom, but as a blessing to the entire world. You see. I'm happy, my <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Yes. Right outside, check she love. In our city, whether you like them or not, you must bear. Right outside, check she love. In our city, whether you like them or not, you must bear. No more heat and run away. In a city, whether you like them or not, uh -huh. you must bear. Right of Chingum Gish. In a city, whether you like them or not, uh -huh. you must bear. This is right of side chicks. Uh -huh. In a city, whether you like them or not, uh -huh. you must bear. Right of Innocenti, whether you like them or not, you must bear. Now, so I see ya. She be troubled as me. Young girl, wake up. The dead, yeah. On the promise then Heaven on earth You can promise Waiting past you oh God. Because of a key Because of a corner You promise a bomb What you cannot do Each of you see On your little arm We're going to be Isikechekwe ya melo ginkegi mabalo mukemo 